<laughs> Knock at the Cabin stars Dave Bautista, Jonathan Groff, Ben Aldridge, and is directed by M. Night Shyamalan. What's up guys? Brand new 2023 review. Always exciting to be reviewing a brand new M. Night Shyamalan movie. I like the guy. Uh, I think I even like some of the movies that uh, it seems like everybody jumped on the bandwagon to hate. Uh, not saying that all of his movies are great. There are a few stinkers out there, but he really landed back on his feet. I think it all started with The Visit. And The Visit's not, like, it's definitely not top, top tier for me. It's only okay, but it was a step in the right direction. So, anyway, here we are. His last movie was Old, which was very, very interesting. I didn't think it stuck the landing, but still a very notable movie. I think I even made a, a video defending it saying all the haters were wrong because I do stuff like that sometimes. I will admit, going into this movie, first off, I am a big fan of cabin movies. And, and usually these cabin movies involve a lot of blood and, and horror. And I had a feeling that this was, was gonna be um, a bit more psychological. There was going to be a lot of thematic elements beneath the surface, and I was right, definitely. But there's still a forward-moving story with uh, um, a task at hand, all right? Now, this will be a spoiler-free review. Obviously, with any M. Night movie, you definitely want to tell as little as possible. And one thing to note is this is uh, based on a book, and M. Night wrote the screenplay along with two other writers. But correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm probably wrong, but is this the first that M. Night didn't actually write the story that it's based on a book i think so i'm not sure though but first off quick plot synopsis uh you have this um couple eric and andrew and their daughter win and they're going to this vacation cabin kind of like an airbnb really simple story these four people from different walks of life they approach them at this cabin uh dave batista is the one that first approaches talking to Wynn, which by the way, this young actress, Kristen Q, uh, it's just so good. And she's really um, kind of the heart of the movie. And there's a lot of heart in this movie, but she's just adorable. But we'll get more into her. Let me let me continue with the plot synopsis, okay? So like I said, they're all from, uh, from different parts of life and they tell them we need to get inside. If you don't let us in, then we will force our way in, okay? And our purpose here is to deliver a message, all right? Uh, that's really as far as I want to go. And this is one of those movies that has that thing, you know, that, that thing that's uh, on your mind and you're just waiting for that thing to be revealed. Uh, you know, and then the, the rest of the movie can carry forward. Like, okay, now that we know the thing, what's going to happen after that? And uh, that's part of the fun of this movie. But one thing we do know is that it is really important uh, it, the the fate of the the planet could depend on it. Now, really, the first thing I want to talk about is the characters in this movie because I think that's what makes this movie so strong is the characters and their relationships. The family that's at the cabin, uh, Eric and Andrew, along with their daughter Wynn, Obviously, Eric and Andrew, they are a, a gay couple. They're two different people, and, and this movie highlights that along the way. Uh, Andrew is a very passionate person. He has trouble controlling his temper sometimes. And then Eric is kind of the voice of reason. So I think these two characters who love each other very much, they play so well off of each other. In this situation, they'll do anything to protect their family. But this movie really focuses on the beauty, uh, and I don't want to sound so cheesy here, but of love and how important love is. And sometimes you have to make the hard decisions uh, based on love. And it doesn't really matter what your sexual orientation is. That's really not what this movie's about. It's about two people uh, with a child that'll do anything to save that child. And it's just beautifully told and beautifully directed by M. Night. One thing that works so well about this movie is it just focuses on the story and the task at hand. Um, it doesn't try to beat any kind of uh, agenda over your head. It offers you um, a choice. You know, this is one of those um, discussion-based type movies. After you watch this, you're gonna have this discussion like, what would I do in this situation? You're asking yourself right now, what is the choice I have to make? And I'm not gonna tell you that because that's a big spoiler in this movie. Uh, it's just handled so well. And I left the theater just completely elated and feeling like maybe there is some hope in the world. That's how I was feeling. And I didn't really want to get so uh, mushy in this review, but. 
to me, this movie just really, I guess, takes a hard look at the way the world is right now with all this uh, divisiveness and people not getting along and, and presents this home invasion, isolated environment type scenario and somehow pulls out this strong message of hope and how maybe we can find uh, a way uh, to agree with each other. And I never expected that from a movie like this. Now, um, you can call this a pro or a con or whatever you want, but don't go into this expecting a horror movie. There are some um, scenes of violence. This is more a character-based type of movie, okay? So don't go into this movie expecting to be uh, terrified or scared. It's not that type of movie at all. So keep your expectations at bay. You're definitely gonna get um, a lot of that tongue-in-cheek humor that you get in M. Night's movies. And it's, it's really nice because it just kind of breaks the tension along the way. The theater was having a great time with this movie. M. Night just has a, a way with characters. And I think that's one thing that people don't often uh, acknowledge as much because of how great he is with twists. This movie was just a, a, another reminder of how he can really highlight those little intricacies of the human condition. Um, overall, still letting it percolate. Right now, a super, super high purchase worthy. I really enjoyed this movie and more importantly, just the message of it. And it just made me feel really um, hopeful, I guess, by the end. So when you see Knock at the Cabin, please let me know down in the comments. Um, are you looking forward to seeing this movie? Also, be sure to come over to Kittle Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day. And on Fridays, we do Free for Fridays. Follow me on my socials, support me on Patreon, buy me a coffee. And anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Rum dum out.